Northrop Grumman is responsible for the design, development, and production of the unmanned X-47B combat air system for the United States Navy. The X-47A Pegasus served as the basis for its development, and its primary function was to perform aircraft-carried-based operations. A deck operator holds a portable gadget that is controlled by a wireless link in order to operate X-47B. In order to maneuver the aircraft into the required locations, the flight deck director and the deck operator collaborate closely. Catapult launchers and stop landings are both possible with the X-47B. This is the first time that an unmanned aircraft has been launched from an aircraft carrier using a catapult. Because of its tailless design and blended wing body structure, the X-47B has a smaller radar footprint, making it an ideal aircraft for breaking through restricted airspace. In 2015, the X-47B made history by successfully completing the very first ever autonomous aerial refueling. The probe and drogue technology, which is often utilized by manned aircraft such as the F-A-18 Super Hornet, was utilized in order for it to acquire gasoline from an Omega Boeing 707 tanker. In contrast to its Pegasus counterpart, the X-47B is equipped with a distinctively different set of landing gear. While the main gears each have a single wheel, the landing gear in the front of the aircraft, known as the nose wheel, is formed of two wheels. Even though the primary gears only have one wheel each, the arrestor hook that is attached to the aircraft and the panache is able to grab one of the arrestor wires and slow the aircraft down as it approaches the runway. The Pratt & Whitney F-100 turbofan engine is responsible for providing power to the aircraft. To preserve the stealth features of the vehicle, the engine was installed inside the fuselage. The exhaust was routed out the back of the unmanned aerial vehicle. The X-47B can fold its wings, reducing the wingspan from 38.2 to 30.9 feet and preserving more deck room as a result. This is a unique feature of aircraft that is mostly commonly used on aircraft carriers. The Bell AH-1 Super Cobra is an attack helicopter that is powered by two engines and is the successor to the AH-1 Cobra. The sleek appearance of the Super Cobra was passed down from its forerunner and it's propelled by a pair of turboshaft engines. The Super Cobra is designed to be used as an attack helicopter and it is capable of being armed with a wide variety of weaponry, such as Sidewinder air-to-air -air missiles and sidearm anti-radiation missiles. The UH-1Y is a twin-engine utility helicopter that was derived from the Bell UH-1 and twin UE. The UH-1Y made its maiden flight in 2001 and it was accepted into service in 2008. The H-1 upgrade program, which was initiated by the United States Marine Corps in 1996, eventually led to the development of the UH-1Y. Both the main rotor and the tail rotor of the helicopter are designed to be resistant to damage caused by ballistics. The main rotor of the helicopter has an all-composite design, and it has four blades. Rocket launchers and machine guns are both options for armament for the UE. First and foremost, it is outfitted with a cutting-edge countermeasure system that includes countermeasure dispensers, radar warning receivers, and laser detecting devices. Testing of the X-47B demonstration aircraft took place when two autonomous jet-powered X-47B aircraft were built under the UCASD program. The two demonstration vehicles have similar designs and hardware features. The company is currently flight testing both of the X-47B aircraft. They can accommodate various kinds of sensors for reconnaissance, intelligence, and surveillance, and have space for weapon systems. The payload is not installed on the demonstration units. The first X-47B, including structural proof testing, was completed by October 2009. Air Vehicle 1, the aircraft was transferred to Edwards Air Force Base for flight testing in July 2010. The second aircraft, named AV-2, arrived at the base for testing in March 2011. The first flight test of the UCASD was conducted in February 2011. The first catapult launch of the X-47B was conducted at an onshore catapult facility at Naval Air Station Patuxent River in November 2012. The first at-sea test phase, involving a series of deck handling trials on board the USS Harry S. Truman, was completed in December 2012. The aircraft was also tested for launching, operating, and recovering capabilities in the Navy Carrier Operable Area of 50 NM. The carrier launch, recovery, and deck handling tests were completed in December 2012. Operations of the computer-controlled X-47B UCAS are smart and its flight control system is autonomous. The navigation of the UCAS is controlled by a hybrid global positioning system, vision-based system. The flight path is pre-programmed and its operations are monitored by a mission operator. The UCAS is equipped with electro-optics, infrared, synthetic aperture radar, inverse SAR, ground moving targets indicator, electronic support measures, and maritime moving target indicator sensors. 
And that's all for today's video. What are your thoughts on this? Let me know in the comments section below. I hope that you found this video interesting. If you want to see more videos like this, please consider subscribing to my channel. See you in the following video with some more latest updates, and until then, stay tuned.